Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and I hope that this video finds you well from where you are currently watching from. So, President William Ruto and the First Lady Rachel Ruto hosted a state house dinner, which was specifically meant for the foreign dignitaries and the heads of states who had actually attended the African Climate Summit, an event that took place at the KICC Nairobi. But also, there were some several local leaders who had actually received an invitation for the dinner at State House. You know, I strongly believe that in such event, you cannot just go to State House without an invitation card. And majority of these leaders actually are from the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. But the most shocking thing was the Wiper Party leader, Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Musioka's presence. And it, is, it was actually the first time Kalonzo Musioka to attend to State House since William Ruto took over power to become the official president of the Republic of Kenya. And I want you to look at this photo here very keenly. So you can see the CS for lands by the name Zakaria Mwangi. You can also see there uh, the CS for transport, Kipchumuba Murkomen, and also the Attorney General, JB Muturi and Kalonzo Musioka there. So if you ask me, majority of Azimio, Lomoja, Alan supporters and leaders were not happy with Kalonzo Musioka attending that particular event. Because this comes at a time when Kalonzo Musioka made some remarks recognizing William Ruto as the president of the Republic of Kenya. A statement that did not go well with several Azimio Lomoja Alliance supporters and leaders. So because Kalonzo Musioka is making such statements, yet uh, the IEBC servers have not yet been observed to confirm that Trello Denga actually lost the previous 2022 general elections to William Ruto. But just for the recap, maybe to those who never saw that statement, let me just read for you. Kalonzo is saying, we congratulate the president for putting his foot down and supporting the continuation of the talks. Because of his stand, we recognize him and we will wait for the next time because who knows, God's plans may be with us next. So Kalonzo Musioka's presence would mean a lot, politically speaking. That is basically what we are going to talk about in this video but before that just in case you're here for the first time maybe you're currently watching yet you haven't subscribed i'm just requesting you to please take a second or two and click to the subscribe button you can also give this video a thumbs up if you do that youtube will automatically recommend this platform and this particular video to reach out to others and to my returning subscribers who are currently watching this particular video i want to take this opportunity to really appreciate you for your continued support. Basically, without your support, this platform cannot be where it is currently, and that is why I don't take that support for granted. If you want also to be automatically receiving the notifications updates from this channel immediately, I post a video here, just press the notification bell. Having said that, now let us go straight into the deeper details of this video. And I want us to begin uh, by watching this short clip here. So from that video, that is of course the Deputy President Dikayadi Gashagwa and Raila Odinga during the African Climate Summit at KICC, whereby Raila Odinga attended. And at some point during that event, Raila Odinga was left alone. Just look at this photo here. And also, when Raila Odinga was arriving at that particular event, he used the foreign dignitaries or the heads of states entrance which forced the PS for security, Raymond Omolo, to change the protocol with immediate effect. Let me just 
show you uh, just a section of the statement that was released immediately reloading arrived it says september 5th 2023 for immediate release change of protocols for accessing kicc uh, for the african climate summit 2023 let me go straight to the points it says Access to Savo, Abadeas, and Lenana ballrooms will only be granted to the delegates accredited to enter the first ballroom, Savo. Secondly, the rest of the delegates will access the venue through the entrance along Parliament Road. Thirdly, all ministers, both local and foreign principal secretaries and diplomatic corps, will access the venue through the entrance along Arambe Avenue. Fourthly, the presidential motorcade will access the venue through the entrance along City Hall. And in my considered opinion, these changes of protocol were basically meant to block Reloadinger from attending this event again because if he attends, he will fall under which category in accessing the KICC for that event. And that is why yesterday was actually the final day for that event and Relo Dinga did not attend. And from the events that took place at the KICC in Relo Dinga's presence, you would clearly tell that Relo Dinga was an invited guest because he was not recognized and also he was denied an, a chance to make a statement or to address the event. Now, I want you to compare Reno Denga's presence and Kalonzo Musioka's presence. Kalonzo Musioka received the invitation to go to the state house. So he was basically there to frustrate Raila Amolo Denga. You know, even when Kalonzo Musioka was making the remarks previously recognizing President William Ruto as the president of Kenya, he tried to make a statement on his Twitter account saying that he was misquoted but of course he was not. At the end of the day the message that Kanonzo Musioka wanted to deliver to Azimio Lomoja Alan supporters and Relo Denga to stop living in denial William Ruto is the president. Message was successfully delivered. Secondly I want us to talk about the Azimio Lomoja Alliance bitter fallout that was exposed in Kalonzo Musioka's presence as status. You know, I strongly believe that politics is all about interest. People of the same interest gather together to form an alliance. That is why the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, there is unity. They speak in one language. You cannot tell me that a William Ruto will say a statement different from Gadi Keshawa. Of course not because they have, are of the same vision, of the same mindset. But let us look at Azimio Lomoja Alliance. Relu Denga attended during the day because maybe he did not want to meet with Kalonzo Musioka or just their reasons. Politically, Kalonzo Musioka attended at night, state house, and Martha Karwa did not attend at all. So. I strongly believe that if there was the unity within the Azimio Lomoja Alliance leadership, you will see Raila, Kalonzo and Martha together, working together. If there is invitation to state house, they will go there together. They will be there in the same table. So you can clearly tell that there is some bitter fallout within Azimio. They don't want to see each other eye to eye. They are making their own personal political directions. And I strongly believe that if there is someone in the government who is orchestrating a plan to engineer the fallout within Azimio Lomoja Alliance is doing it perfectly. And that is why I was reading a certain article on the newspaper saying that the reason as to why this, this creation of the opposition leadership, it is simply because there is a high possibility that Kalonzo Musioka is going to take up that position as the official opposition leader. What about Martha Karua? 
she will be left out completely. So the person who is orchestrating a plan for the Azimio Lomoja Alliance fallout is already achieving his mission. And that, ladies and gentlemen, in Kanon Musioka's presence, what I've observed is the dialogue impact. I strongly believe that Kalonzo Musioka will not have attended that particular event if it were not the dialogue that is going on between Kenya Kwanzaa and the Azimio Lomoja Alliance. And that is what led to Kalonzo Musioka being invited. And the, one of the achievements of this dialogue also is the call off completely of the demonstrations across the country. We are no longer experiencing demonstrations and the street protests from Rhinodinga. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. What can you say about Kanozo Musioka's presence in Stados? Let me know your thoughts. Otherwise, I don't have much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time, my name is Jason. Bye-bye.